So I'm having a bit of a dramatic time with my car lately. Just got into a fender bender with someone on uh, in rush hour traffic. down the street around 7 15 7 20 a.m extremely heavy traffic there's probably two inches between me and the car that decided to cut me off she cuts me off however she doesn't realize there's another car right here in front of me turning left she jumps in front of me trying to get around a public transportation bus here in atlanta they called marta so she jumps in front of me as soon as she starts to jump, I'm standing on the brake, but it's already too late because she was already two inches from in front of me. Needless to say, I rear-ended her. What's wild is she was the one that caused the accident. But the last I heard, and I don't know if they've changed this law, but in the state of Georgia, if you rear-end somebody, you're automatically in the wrong. You'll be the one to get the citation. Fortunately for me, she decided to leave the scene. Unfortunately for me, I'm stuck with the bill of fixing my car. In light of these new damages on my car, my focus has changed on uh, what's going to be happening to the car. Now I got to fix the front end. I do have a hood at home. I have a poor support at home. I do not have a bumper, so I will have to locate a bumper cover. Unfortunately, in the metro Atlanta area, bumper E38s have become kind of scarce in part house. So finding that may be a bit of a pain in my ass. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Alright, so I just got to work. Let's see the damage. How bad it is, it, I should say. It's already seen the damage. Damn, fucking Euro tag bracket broken. At least that survived. Tab's good there. Can't even open the damn hood. Definitely could have been worse. <clears throat> I have one of these at home. I have a delete strip and actually in my front seat because I was going to redo it at work. <sighs> well, got the hood open. Uh, looks like my core support is bent. Those at home too. None of the cooling system was touched. So it was just a nice little kiss. Probably will need to replace the uh, impact absorbers as well. Yeah, looking at that, it's not lined up right. Well, yeah, actually it is. It may have survived it too, so it might be fine. Oh man, my headlight bracket's broke. God damn it. Like, Right. No, it's not. But, like I said, I'm going to try to make this uh, turn a negative into a positive. This gives me the opportunity to go ahead and get a new bumper, paint my lip, put my lip on, go ahead and snatch this fender off to replace it because of this little doohickey and this little bit of damage is down here. I might go ahead and get another, well, I have another door. Go ahead and change the door for this little bit of damage here, too. Anyway. Let's get to it. All right, so I had this crazy idea when I got to work this morning to bend my hood. Considering I'm not going to replace these parts until after the Christmas holiday, I can't drive with the hood just dented in. It'll drive me insane. I gotta make it look halfway decent. And I mean, it's not perfect by any means. But it looks much better than it did. And I'll be able to throw a pair of grills in there too. I grabbed me some kidneys off of eBay, some little cheap ones, they don't have to fit perfect. Just enough to cover that hole for now. I may go ahead and get the bumper. 
it's only $75. I got paint at home. I can go ahead and paint that. It's no big issue. And my eyelid is actually in the car, so I can go ahead and put my eyelid back in there. Come on, focus. There we go. Now, as far as this line is concerned, I can't do anything about that. That's not going to be even. That's uh, in the core support. And I'm not changing the core support. I took the bump stops out on both sides. Yeah. It, it, it brought it down a bit, but not much. A little bit of relief to my drama. I don't know if you recognize that van. Has a temporary fix until uh, after the holidays. I got my bumper delete strip. I went ahead and replaced the uh, Hold me over until I'm ready. Don't look good, but it doesn't look that bad. As I was saying before, that line is not going to be right either way, just because the core support is bent. My eyelid is, as you can see, fucked up, but it'll get the job done. Peace out, people.